let's take a few minutes to talk about traits. Traits are characteristics. So when geneticists talk about the traits of humans, they're just talking about the things that make you you. Um, there's two types of traits, inherited and acquired traits. Inherited traits are things that are coded on your DNA, which means that you get the information from your parents and they are determined prior to your birth. It doesn't mean that you were born with them um, because there are certain things that, like when you're born, a lot of babies don't have hair. Um, what your hair looks like is determined before you're born. It just doesn't happen until a little bit later. Um, acquired traits are things that we learn or receive from our environment. Um, so they're determined after you born, you are born. And um, it could be something like a scar comes from your environment, which is an acquired trait that could be something that really makes you who you are um, or something you learn, like how to read. Those things, um, they have to be taught to you. They have to happen to you from your environment. That's information is not on your DNA. So let's look at a few examples here. Skin color is inherited. Uh, there's a variety of skin tones that people can have um, due to the amount of melanin in their body. That's inherited. But tattoos are things that are acquired. If you go to a tattoo shop and they uh, press ink into your body with needles, it is not coded on your DNA that you're going to have a tattoo. You have to get that from your environment. Um, another example is hair color. You're born with a natural hair color um, that is determined, you know, on your DNA. Um, passed to you from your parents, from your grandparents, from your great-grandparents, etc., etc. However, you can't acquire a hair color by how? What do you think? Mm-hmm. We have a natural, and then we can dye our hair. So sometimes the people um, that you see, the hair color they're walking around with is not on their DNA. They dyed it to get it that way. Um, another thing we have, you can inherit your hair type. Everybody has a natural hair type from curly to straight. Um, but the cut and the style that you give your hair can be different than what is on your DNA. And that's something that you acquire, how you wear your hair. So inherited versus acquired. Now this brings us to a very interesting topic of discussion among um, scientists called nature versus nurture, which is really inherited versus acquired. It's a great scientific debate. There are a lot of them, and this is a big one. Um, intelligence, right? What is it on your DNA? What's the deal? Some of it is definitely there's a family connection with um, intelligence, but there's a ton of nurture as well. Reading, school activities are all things that are going to play into whether you reach your maximum intelligence or not. That nurture. So we wind up having intelligence be a situation that is a little of both. Um, if you don't nurture it, you're never going to get there. If you don't have the nature, all the nurture in the world isn't going to get you to be that optimal intelligence either. It's, it's both. Now for height, there's definitely a family connection. We don't see two incredibly short people having a gigantically tall offspring. It doesn't work like that. Um, but the nutrition, the diet that you eat is going to play a role in your final height. Um, so we see now that generations are have people that have children taller than them because we have good nutrition um, that helps you to maximize your genes. But you can eat all the food in the world that you think is going to get you tall and you're only going to reach whatever your maximum genetic potential is. So then, why don't we look exactly like our parents, right? Because uh, none of us do. And that is in our next video.